consistent. And Doc said that, like, this, it felt like the team's intensity, it's almost like the team didn't arrive until game four against Dallas. What did you see tonight as far as, like, you guys being locked in? Um, you know, just, we're just trying to win the basketball game um, any way I can. Uh, you know, I've been very fortunate to make shots, uh, you know, up to this point. Uh, but, you know, mindset is just going in, playing defense, um, the whole unit, um, you know, um, starting with our leaders uh, or with our first unit, we got to go out there, play defense, and then, uh, you know, we could get what we want on the other end. But uh, that's that's the, our, uh, you know, main focus going out there. And um, I think, uh, you know, Dallas is a great scoring team, and uh, we felt like if we could get stops, we could win the series. So we got to keep carrying that over. Thanks. So next question is from Tamara. Go ahead. Hey, Kawhi, congrats on the win. I'm just curious, throughout your career, uh, the, the game has sort of evolved into the three-point line a lot more, but you've really made an emphasis to hit the mid-range shot at a, at a high clip. Just why have you focused so hard on that on that shot, and how are you so consistent at it? Uh, just working out, um, just working on my game, uh, being confident in my shot. And, uh, you know, that, that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, just trying to get to my spots. But, uh, you know, I'm pretty much focused on all the areas of my game, but uh, I'm able to get to my spots right now and then uh, make shots. Thanks, Samara. Next question from Sanjo. Go ahead. Hey, Kawhi, what did you think of uh, Marcus Morris's performance tonight? Uh, he, did a, he did a good job um, playing defense, uh, rebounding the ball, doing a great job on the switches. Um, you know, he made, he made shots tonight, um, some big ones early that, uh, you know, boosted our confidence and, and gave us the lead. Um, so he's very consistent. Uh, next question, Kawhi, comes from Mark Medina there in Orlando with you. Hey, Kawhi, good to see you. Um, given your vast championship experience, to what extent do you offer perspective with your teammates about that and what sort of advice do you have about this? Um, you know, I'm, I'm not a guy that, uh, you know, uh, talks about, you know, what I've done, um, you know, on different teams. It's just about now. But just giving them, uh, you know, exp some thoughts, like when do when things do come up, um, you know, it's about this year and how we could be better as, um, you know, this year's team. So, um, you know, I guess uh, just taking from what I've seen in the past and just trying to make us be, you know, as consistent we could be. And, you know, just trying to keep our focus and just having us be relaxed out there. Great. Thank you very much, Kawhi. Have a good night. Thank you, sir. Uh, Paul George is up now. EG? How we doing? Good. How y'all doing? Doing great. Have, have the traditional ice bag on your shoulder. No reason to be alarmed here. Never. Never. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to start with uh, Ohm. Go ahead, Ohm. PG, um, this has only been like, I think, the 13th time you guys have been with your full lineup. What did you see tonight? Is this starting to look like what you guys are capable of doing? Um, I mean, it's just great. It's great to have everybody together. Uh, we've been saying it all year. Um, it's good for us to continue to just build this chemistry. Um, I thought we looked great tonight. I thought we did everything. Everybody helped. Everybody had great energy. Uh, we were vocal. Um, and, you know, we, we just wanted it. We wanted to play for one another. And um, it was just fun basketball playing with everybody. Uh, Farbad, your next go ahead. PG, what do you think stood out to you the most tonight? It just seemed like this was the best game you guys have played in the bubble. Uh, what did you think? I thought we, we just locked into our assignments. Um, I thought, to be honest, that was the best thing, um, <clears throat> the best we've done so far uh, against an opponent. I think we just locked into our assignments. We, our attention to detail was, was great. Um, and we followed the game plan. Uh, Jovan, go ahead. Hey, PG. On that note, defensively, um, you guys did a really good job of limiting Jokic and Murray in, in the pick and roll. 
Uh, what, what did you guys do specifically in that to kind of slow those guys down? You just play defense. Cameron, uh, you're next. Go ahead. Hey, Paul, congratulations on a big win tonight. Um, was it – you're talking about having everybody that, together collectively, but Patrick Beverly, having him back on the court, seemed to kind of really put everybody in place and just kind of seemed – you guys really sunk, uh, clicked, having him in, on the squad in the starting lineup. Did it feel that way to you? Is that the case? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I thought – Pat had a great impact uh, all game, and I looked and saw he only played 12 minutes. Um, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's Pat Beverly's impact. You know, he, he's such a contagious guy uh, with energy and effort uh, that it just flows through the team. And um, it's just, it was great to have him back on that floor with us. Uh, next question coming from Andrew. Go ahead, Andrew. PG, Marcus is shooting 56% in the postseason so far. This was not the case, you know, early on where he was having some struggle, struggle shooting. What have you seen from him since, you know, game one of that Dallas series on, just the difference in his game? Uh, I mean, there's, there's no difference. Um, you know, everybody knows coming into this team, Mark has been a scorer. Uh, he's been a scorer with the Celtics. He's been a scorer with New York. That's his game. Um, he, he knows how to score the ball. Uh, I think for him, it's, it was an adjustment coming into a new team trying to find his way, trying to fit in, playing alongside Kawhi, myself, um, Lou, you know, he, he's just trying to find his way and, and, you know, not step on anybody's toes. But uh, I think for him, he's, he's got to be aggressive as well. And he's got to be himself as well. And um, I think what we've done best is just allowed him to be himself and play his game. Um, he's a playmaker. He's a scorer. That benefits all of us as well. Thanks, Sumer. Um, next question, PG, will come from Mark there with you in Orlando. Um, Two-part question. I mean, what does it take to play with the kind of, well, potentially that you guys showed tonight on the NCC basis? But I mean, how challenging is that to be able to do that knowing that there's been you know, guys in and out of the lineup and, you know, being here is a challenge in and of itself? Um, I mean, it just took us to come – come here tonight and, and just lock into what we needed to do. Um, there's no sugarcoating answer or no, you know, headline answer. We just locked into what we needed to do. Um, and that was enough uh, for us to play with energy and effort. Um, you know, we, we just knew what our job was tonight and uh, we executed it. Hey, PG, your last question for tonight comes from Orlando uh, again from uh, Tanya. Um, his voice, his his communication, um, you know, his extra effort plays. Um, you know, he does all the small stuff. He boxes out. He goes get, he goes and get offensive rebounds. Uh, he rebounds well for his position. Um, you know, he he just makes so many winning effort plays that that sometimes aren't even stat plays. Um, but he just he gives himself up. He gives his body up. And um, I just love playing with guys like that, uh, that is fully committed and bought into the team. Um, and, and, you know, if you see someone like that, um, <clears throat> you have no choice uh, but to buy in and, um, you know, help pull the weight uh, with, with someone like him. Thanks, PG. Appreciate it. I don't want the thing to go off on me. No, okay, there it is.